there, and thank you for watching this episode of the Animal Services Podcast. We have a lot of great things to tell you about this episode, but let's get started by taking a look at the live release rate for the month of April. Last month, Animal Services had a live release rate of 89.43%. This is greatly significant as we had over 2,400 animals come into our care last month. But as we come into our busy summer months, we're going to need your help to ensure that we continue saving as many lives as possible. One of the ways that we've been able to save lives during our high intake season is by creating a new protocol to save the thousands of neonates that come into our care every year. So kittens that roll through the shelter uh, with no mom, they kind of have the worst possible start that you can possibly imagine. They don't have their mother's milk, which means they don't have colostrum, which is in their, in their mother's milk that helps them develop, keeps their gastrointestinal tract on the up and up and helps them develop. So these guys that come in uh, with no mom, so we're talking itty bitty jelly beans up to new, uh, down to newborn up to four weeks of age. So these classes of kittens um, that roll through here, um, they're, get a, they're given an antibiotic uh, injection that's just under the skin and they're also given uh, an oral dewormer uh, the moment that they arrive. So these guys are going to have, their bodies are going to be working solo. So we want to try to hit their gastrointestinal tract as early as possible to help remove gastrointestinal parasites, um, help remove harmful bacteria that might be in there um, so that we see um, less instances of diarrhea. Once those kittens come into our care, we work as quickly as possible to get them into a temporary foster home. But since we've been having hundreds of kittens coming into our care every single week, we need more people like you willing to open their hearts and homes to little ones in need. If you have ever thought about becoming a foster but weren't ready to jump in yet, now's the time. Hundreds of puppies and kittens have been coming through our doors and the shelter is no place for little babies like these to grow up happy and healthy. Fostering is completely free and we provide all the food, supplies, and medical care that you would need. You just provide the love and care, usually for a two to six week period before they are off to find their forever homes. For more information, visit our website, www.elpasoanimalservices.org slash foster. And speaking of fosters, last month Animal Services celebrated our hundreds of fosters and volunteers that make all of this life-saving happen. In April, Animal Services celebrated National Volunteer Appreciation Week by thanking our volunteers and fosters for all the hard work, dedication, and commitment they contribute to the pets of El Paso. Without our volunteers and fosters, we truly would not be able to save as many lives. We are always in need of volunteers and fosters, so if you're interested in joining in on our no-kill mission, visit our website for more information. We also celebrated our animal protection officers last month during National Animal Control Officer Appreciation Week. Our animal protection officers are a huge part of making El Paso a no-kill community. From reuniting pets with their families, offering free microchipping services, to engaging and educating the community, our officers work day-to-day -day for El Paso's pets. Next time you see one of our animal protection officers, be sure to thank them for keeping our community and our pets healthy and safe. Lastly, we'd like to congratulate our volunteer and employee of the month for March. If you like to frequent our cat adoption room, you're sure to have seen our volunteer Richard playing with our cats and kittens. Richard comes in nearly every single week to ensure our kitties get much needed love and attention and is always happy to find anyone their perfect match. And we can't talk about our foster program without mentioning March's employee of the month, Crystal, who is one of the guiding lights for our hundreds of foster families. Crystal works tirelessly to ensure the motherless kittens, the parvo puppies, the scared and stressed dogs in our care all find a loving foster home to grow, rest, or recuperate. Thank you Richard and Crystal for all that you do for our shelter pets. Well that does it for us in this episode of the Animal Services Podcast. We'd like to thank you for always being a friend and a partner to Animal Services as we push closer to No Kill because together we will save more lives. Yeah.